Caitlin Fogel, she's there. Oh, did you arrange a meeting for me? I did. Fantastic, yes. that's good. Yeah. That's good. So, so we're, that's not late, starting with a break. IWC. These t-shirts were on display for people to buy. Um, probably I'm the only one wearing the t-shirt right now. Um, that doesn't matter. 40 years. Great celebration we had yesterday. That was a fantastic party organized by Penton. Um, looking forward for one more interview. Ben Pierce. That guy. He's the product manager at Codan Radio. It's Codan Radio, is Codan it? Codan Radio. Codan Radio company from Australia here in the United States and then basically your company is very known as as we call it uh, sorry to call it a box move of course absolutely totally yep. agree yep now you have changed your strategy I understood quite a bit, quite a bit. why uh, I think the, the challenge is uh, for a number of reasons one is that the, the nature of radio um, in the world nowadays um, isn't what it once was. Uh, youth coming through education, through universities and schools are not learning about uh, radio systems, they're learning about IT. Okay. Um, and then secondly, we have um, just a, a technology shift that's occurring, it's a tectonic shift across the absolute planet when it comes to moving from traditional radio systems to now cellular systems. And with that comes uh, distractions and attention, so it's now up to us to make sure that the black boxes that we believe in are being deployed in the right way and are being uh, installed and, and supported in the right way that uh, they, they really should. To be fair, we have actually done this for quite some time over the last 10 to 20 years. We've just never formalized it, made it a, a formal part of our process, and so now we're just putting the, the implementation in place for our, our teams so that we're able to do the project management, the detailed system design, the, um, the follow through life cycle support to make sure that our customers know from day one to the end of their system, they're gonna be able to accurately manage the cost of maintaining that system. And unfortunately, a lot of vendors don't seem to do that well. And you're combining technologies together in that box, right? This is, this is the latest and greatest? This is the latest and greatest, yes. So this is, uh, for, for anybody who's familiar with Daniels Electronics, which is where we came from initially, we were known for, as you said, black boxes and typically solar powered repeaters. Uh, this is, has vastly changed. Kodan uh, acquired Daniels and uh, wanted to move us uh, heavily into more of the traditional fixed systems, uh, trunking, simulcast type systems that uh, more of the traditional urban and rural areas use compared to the remote areas that Codan is used to working in. Yeah. And you, you talk about the black box, right? Black yes. is the color of Codan. Black is, is the color of Codan, <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Well, that's, that's a good color. It's black is not a bad color no, because no. most of the radios are black. Yes. Right? Yes. So and that's accessories right. are black. That's so right. why shouldn't the system be black as well? Exactly. And the shirts hide my stains, shirts. so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's inside? So inside is a phase two P25 repeater. And in fact, there's two repeaters. Let me just take off the, the front. Inside, we have uh, two 100 watt phase two capable P25 repeaters, as well as a power supply. So for the first time in the history of Daniels, we have a complete solution in one box. But what's very unique about this solution, and this is the exciter module, 
is that it has a built-in server inside the Exciter. What this does is this provides, whether it's your trunking control, your simulcast and voting control, all of those controls are now built into each repeater. If you have 25 repeaters in a network, this now means you have 25 different um, controllers in your system, servers if you will, and all of them are mirrored. So now that means you have the ultimate in redundancy. If one repeater fails, a microwave link fails, just another repeater on the system takes over control. So this makes the system very flexible, very reliable, and most importantly, extremely affordable. Yeah, black is the color of Coden, right behind me. Black is the color of many radios, many accessories, and the new solution of Coden radio. From box moving to solutions moving. Right moment, right time. If there is one company who is really on top of things, or should be on top of things, that is IHS Market. That is Thomas Lynch, Alex Richardson, and Jesus Gonzalez. One of the things that I would like to understand how their vision is, how they see things happening here at the IWC show, and specifically in North America. Alex, so how do you see the things are happening here in the US market? So what I've been seeing, uh, is a lot of integration with video um, and analytics as well. So not only are you bringing voice into the, into the control room, you're also bringing CCTV feeds. Um, you're also analyzing RMS data to predict where crime might occur. Um, but then you're also doing post-event analysis to track where crime has occurred in the past um, so you can send out your police forces more efficiently. Um, so this is really where I see like a huge interest. One of the other trends that we've picked up for, for, from the event is um, it's, it's cloudification. So we're watching, um, you know, especially in a peace app environment and in a control room environment, there's, there's significant potential, and maybe this might be the mid or long term future, um, but for, for that control room capability to be placed up in the cloud. Uh, and, and then a, some kind of subscription service, a value added service which, which can include regular updates, um, and, and, and so we're seeing a lot of that discussion happening now, but the cyber security piece, we're not hearing about that so much equally. And, and that, that for me is a major security issue. Because you know, if you're a piece app, if you're a CAD, if, if you're running uh, that type of a control room environment, you might not want to let go of your CAD data or your RMS data so, so quickly without knowing that that's absolutely secure. Yeah. And that's, that's not just securing the CAD, that's got to be secured all the way back into the control room. Right. On cybersecurity, we go to broadband, to Jesus. That's right. Now, broadband possibilities, mission critical push to talk, push to talk over cellular, whatever name you give it, is something that is coming up, well, that actually that came up over the last couple of years. New technologies coming into the world of critical communications like MCPTT, Jesus. What have you seen? Because th yes. there is much happening, is it? There is a lot happening. So everything is about the new technologies. We've got digital, P25, Tetra, and LT. And how these together are going to move forward. So I always say that we're kind of experiencing something that we already experienced before with the transition from analog to digital. And now we're trying to figure out how we're going to move forward. De facto is that LTE broadband will be the future standard for critical communications within public safety, transportation, utilities, oil and gas. It's just a matter of when. It's not a matter of why or how, but it's a matter of how as well. And again, and how secure can we do this? Yes. Cyber exactly. security of what we told just about. Yes, I mean, exactly. the good news on the LTE side, right, is that we're still seeing significant success in Tetra. Um, in P25, you know, in, in North America, it's still very, a very much established system that's been used by all first responders. Um, and LTE, really, first, is an overlay. And agreed, in the longer term, LTE will be 
um, you know, a, a, a core service for critical mission critical communications users. Um, but but having Tetra networks that are pretty secure now, um, and, and P25 and DMR etc, um, does give us a little bit more time on the, on the cyber picture as well. So although the threat's there, and as we move to IP and we move to LTE, um, but but we now's the time to be talking about it and, and making and creating the solutions. Um, but we do have a little bit of time. Okay, we're, 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 we're,